Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Sir Alex Ferguson Challenge with West Ham. Now in today's episode we have got the second knockout round of the Europa League and we will be playing one of the favourites in my opinion, Red Bull Leipzig. But since we last met in the victory against Wolfsburg in the previous round of the Europa League, we followed that up with a 2-1 home win against Redden. We opened up the scoring in the 25th minute through Alexander Isaac getting a decent strike on him there. Uh, a nice assist for Yarmolenko as well, but they did equalise through John Swift pretty immediately actually. It came straight after our highlight, uh, 29th minute and made it 1-1. This is of course the FA Cup by the way, this isn't a league game. But we did manage to get the final goal and guarantee us the victory with a decent cross by Sam Byram actually and Arnautovic back post getting the goal. So we are through the sixth round. And in the final game before we play... Red Bull Leipzig, it was a 3-0 home victory against Huddersfield. Alexander Isaac came on in the 60th minute for Moyes Keane and got himself a hat-trick inside 12 minutes. 71st, 72nd and 83rd. He really did show up when he came on. And that leads us to today. I did accidentally continue all the way through to this point before I realised I shouldn't really be recording this. So we're here, this is the starting 11. Timo Horn, Wagnerman, Rhys Oxford, Pongrang, Pongracic... I really need to take my time when I say his name. Aaron Creswell, Pedro Obiang, Lucas Toussart, Yarmolenko, Jurlik, Anderson and Isaac. On the bench we've got Sam Byram, Tony Lardo, Edemils and Fernandez, Dennis Mann, Moyes Keane, Marco Arnautovic and Issa Diop. So we are obviously at home in the first leg, which is not ideal, but we'll have to see if we can keep them out whilst also getting some goals ourselves because we all know away goals matter a lot in the knockout stages. We've got we've got an opening here. Wagnerman coming down the right-hand side. Yarmolenko was from post. 25 seconds. Did we do this against Wolfsburg at home? I think we might have, but a very early goal. Wagnerman coming down that right-hand side, finding himself a pocket of space. This is all from kickoff, by the way. Uh, getting the beating of his man and Yarmolink was there front post decent finish Keeper can't do anything about it 1-0 another highlight Aaron Creswell high up the pitch with a throw in we've got plenty of men in the box if he can take his strike goes just over the bar obviously with the way Red Bull Leipzig have shaped up they are very very attacking compared to Wolfsburg who were played in the last round um, so we do have to be careful here they are a good side so we'll see highlight now Red Bull Leipzig try to come down the right hand side but we'll manage to cut it out Toussaint tries to switch the player, but he gives it to Red Bull Leipzig. Can we keep hold of the ball, boys? We don't want to be giving it away in positions like this. Wagnerman got the beating of his man. He finds Yarmolenko crossing for Alexander Isaac, and he's there, back post. He has been sensational when he's been given game time. He is really, really coming on well. For a 20-year-old who's just moved to a new country, he's doing particularly well. I think he's, he's sort of ousted and Moise Kane for his position, really. Yarmolenko with a decent cross. Isaac beats the man in the air and gets us 2-0 up. Creswell with the corner. It's cleared by uh, Red Bull Leipzig. Felipe Anderson now. He's got to be careful here. They are coming out in numbers. So leaving pockets of space for Aaron Creswell on this left-hand side. Decent challenge there. No foul. And this is going to be a break. No, it's not Pong Ratchet getting in there. That was a crucial interception. They were definitely through on goal if they had won that ball now. Yarmolenko on the edge. Isaac on the edge. And he takes a strike. The keeper should, I don't know what the keeper was doing there. He should be doing a lot better saving that. But Alexander Isaac gets his second of the night. Yarmolenko with another assist to Isaac. Them two combining really well down that right-hand side. And as you can see here, decent little pass. Key, oh, well, I thought it was actually down the centre, but it wasn't. Keeper couldn't really do anything about that. 3-0 up inside half an hour. We're doing really well. And uh, just as I say, that praising Yarmolenko, he gets injured. So we'll get Dennis Mann on in his place. Highlight now, free kick for Red Bull Leipzig. Decent strike. And I think it just hit a, It either hit the outside of the post or Timo Horn probably saved it. Szymanski now to get the corner in. Pong, which is clear as Uppermann Karnor. Decent, decent goal kick. And that's it, half-time, West Ham 3, Red Bull, Leipzig 0. And the stats, we haven't like smashed them or anything, but we've been clinical when we've been given the opportunity. Um, particularly plays with Alexander Isaac, looks like Wagnerman's having a really good game as well. Um, let's get in the second half. Free kick now, Szymanski takes the... Oh my god, what a strike this is. And if you ever want to see a clearer example of the ball physics in FM19, there it is, curling right in at the top corner. That's something we could have done without conceding a deer. Corner for us this time. Creswell to play it in. Goalkeeper punches out when he probably should be catching that. Obiang, do not lose the ball here. Wagnerman's by himself. Oh my God, are they going to break? No, they're not. Pongracic now. Creswell on this left-hand side. Come on, boys. Can we find something? He's very, very pushed up. Like, we need to get men back. 
Pongracic, he's deep line playmaker here. If I were pushing, <laughs> just do something. Reese Oxford with a big punt. Oh, Philippe Anderson's in behind. Oh, what a save by the keeper. Free kick, Aaron Creswell on the edge of their box. Plays it in, but it's cleared. Wagnerman should get there first, and he does. Reese Oxford, you need to give this ball and get back in position. He takes a strike. And was that the highlight? I'm assuming it was. It might not be. Red Bull Leipzig have got the ball in the centre, but they give it away at the two sort. And Philippe Anderson's got so much space for Creswell on this left-hand side. Can he get a decent delivery? And he can. Dennis Mann. Oh, my God, is that an own goal? I think that is an... Oh, my God. That was such a bad own goal. I think he actually took down Dennis Mann in the, in the challenge, whatever he does here. Yeah, he completely takes him down. He gets his foot on it and puts it past his own keeper. Is Dennis Mann okay after that? Looks like he took a little bit of a knock, but he's recovering. Lucas Toussaint's not going to recover from that, so I'm going to get him off for Edda Mielsen Fernandez, and I'll swap him and Pedro Obiang around so he's in a more comfortable role for himself. Creswell with a free kick. Can we get the ball in? It is a penalty. They've just took down Edda Mielsen Fernandez in the box. Alexander Isaac to step up for his hat-trick, and he bangs it down the centre, beats the keeper, and makes it 5-1. As you can see here, keeper dives the wrong way. He absolutely doesn't. We are cruising here. I thought this was going to be such a difficult game. But as it turns out, we've absolutely dominated them at home. Obviously, we'll have to go away from home now and see what we can do. I'll definitely be deploying the more defensive tactic away from home against Red Bull Leipzig. They do have some good attacking talent. As we get a corner in and Oxford hits the bar. But yeah, we'll need to play more defensively away from home. And that's going to be it for the match. Full time, West Ham 5, Red Bull Leipzig 1. Absolutely fantastic performance from the boys. Really clinical idea and I think we've got a lot to owe to Alexander Isaac. Now we do have a game in between the second leg so we'll go, I'll go and play Fulham. I'll show you the result um, and then we'll get on to the Leipzig second leg. So I've just played Fulham in the Premier League and we managed to come away with a 1-0 victory. Some good work by Tony Lotto going down that left-hand side. An excellent cross. And Alexander Isaac rises again to give us the three points. Now, this was a poor game, actually. Fulham uh, 19th in the Premier League, so we should have been doing better against them. But it was a rotated side. We'll try to keep people fresh for the second leg against Red Bull Leipzig. But this is how it leaves the Premier League stand. And we are currently in fifth position, six points behind Manchester United in fourth. So it looks unlikely that we'll get Champions League football this season. Unless we win the Europa League. So we're here. It is second leg day against Red Bull Leipzig. And this is how we're going to line up. Timo Horningol, Wagnerman, Pongracic, <laughs> Reese Oxford and Aaron Creswell in defence. With Mark Noble and Lucas Toussaint in midfield. Arnautovic on the right. Zerlik as the attacker midfielder centre. Felipe Anderson on the left. And Alexander Isaac up top. Why have I went with the attack and formation? I wanted to go with the defensive one. Oh dear. We'll see how this goes for the first half. I will probably make a change in terms of tactics quite soon. I'll probably take Jerlik off for um, Declan Rice and put Declan Rice in at um, defensive midfielder. But yeah, we'll kick off against Rebel Leipzig. A nice orange ball just to get things going. And we'll see how we're performing this first half. Jerlik's injured. Two minutes in, 20 seconds in, Jerlik is injured. So we're going to get him straight off for Dennis Mann. And we will change our tactic accordingly. You know, you never like to see one of your players get injured. But I had just mentioned about taking them off so, and changing the formation. So it was perfect timing. Sorry, Jerlik. We'll pick up with the highlight 30 minutes in. It has been a quiet game so far. But we are coming forward with Felipe Anderson. Cutting inside. Takes a strike. It's not gone again. Anywhere close. Highlight now. Szymanski to Sabitzer on the edge of the box. He takes the strike. And it goes just over. And Felipe Anderson's picked up a knock now. That's a problem with our players that are also injury prone without being injury prone, if you know what I mean. Moise Keane will come on in his place. Nil-nil half-time. I'm very happy with that. We've got a four-goal cushion, so we'll kick off for the second half and hope we can just hold on to it. Highlight now. Alexander Isaac coming down the right-hand side. Can he get a decent ball in? He can. Two starters there. And that was a guilt-edge opportunity. We should be 1-0 up. 70 minutes in and it's all quiet in this game, so we'll make our last couple of changes. Our uh, well, last change, sorry, Pedro Obiang will come on. Actually, no, Edmilson Fernandez will come on instead of Mark Noble just to finish this game out. Um, looks like we're going to go through quite comfortably. And I'm going to actually get the latest scores up quickly to see if we can see if there's any shock surprises. Looks like Ajax are going through into Milan. Man United, of course. I would love for them to have gone out. 
And that's it, full time Red Bull Leipzig nil, West Ham nil, a thoroughly professional performance, just the same as we did at Wolfsburg. And we are through to the next round. Who's joining us? So it is Ajax, Inter Milan, Fiorentina, Borussia Mönchengladbach, Man United, Os Schalke, Valencia and Shakhtar. Who do I want out of all of these teams? Oh, I'm not actually sure. Maybe Fiorentina? The only, the only just say beat Gladbach. So maybe we could take them. Ajax I would probably take as well. But we'll get into the drama. We'll see who we'll get. Right, we're here. It is a Europa League quarterfinal draw, dear. I've clicked automatic. Let's see who the FM gods bring us. I did click it, didn't I? In Milan, I don't want that. Shakhtar are out of the pot. I'd take Fiorentina. I'm not getting that. Please don't be Manchester United. I'll take Valencia over Man United. I'll take Valencia over them. So there it is. The final draw. The final eight. Inter Milan versus Shakhtar Donetsk. Fiorentina versus Schalke. Valencia versus West Ham. And Man United versus Ajax. So obviously the next episode will be of course against Valencia in the quarterfinals of the Europa League. We're making a real go of this. If Ajax could do us a favour and get rid of Manchester United, that would be absolutely fantastic. If you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you're enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.